the best video game that the Star Wars franchise has released since EA was granted exclusive gaming rights is in the opinion of many fans Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Its characters are a major factor in why many fans consider it to be one of the best Star Wars video games ever created. The primary characters make readers emotionally immersed in the narrative and have gamers anticipating the sequel that is coming soon. Fallen Order features some of the best Star Wars canon video game characters out there, from the crew of the Mantis to the main antagonist encountered along the trip, and fortunately most of their stories haven't ended yet. Of the five on-screen Inquisitors that fans have encountered, the Ninth Sister is unquestionably the weakest. The Ninth Sister is weak, not in size or power, but rather in character depth and growth. Although she has a fairly weak personality, she was very well designed and managed to endanger Kal. Her conflict with Kal on Kashyyyk and apparent survival at the game's conclusion were skillfully handled and paved the way for her reappearance in subsequent installments. Darth Vader is likely to be the focal point of any Star Wars content in which he appears. In Fallen Order, Vader stands out in his one role even though some players begin to feel that he appears too frequently. One of the most thrilling aspects of the game is evading and fighting off Vader, and fans also get to witness much of his ruthlessness as he executes Triller for her failure as Inquisitoris. It was a typical goosebump inducing debut from one of the Star Wars deadliest villains, and his introduction was very well done. BD-1, a cute BD droid that previously belonged to Eno Kuroda, and subsequently ended up travelling with Cal Kestis through the galaxy, is the friendly local robot of the Fallen Order. B-1 is fantastic for Star Wars fans since he allows gamers to examine artefacts and many facets of various planets. Additionally, he is a kind and devoted friend who really enhances the game by being around especially when playing for extended periods of time with Cal. Grease Dritus is the pilot of the Mantis and one of the game's main characters. As the game progresses, he grows to care more about Cal and his adventure, and fans grow to enjoy him just as much. Dritus is a major source of comic relief throughout the game, thanks to his interactions with Cal and Sere, and his fears for Merin. Despite being a gambler, he is reluctant to put himself in danger. With the release of the game's sequels, the latter will undoubtedly gain in popularity. Jaro Tapal served as Cal Kestis' Jedi Master, while he was a student of the Jedi Order under the Republic, as he only makes an appearance in flashbacks. Despite not being part of the current narrative, he is a brilliant, nuanced and developed character. As one of the few Lassarts that fans have ever encountered, Tapal was intelligent, powerful and disciplined, and simply had a presence that towered over Kal. He gave his life to ensure that his Padawan Kal survives Order 66, which is a twist that definitely hits home because the event always hurts to see, regardless of how many lenses viewers view it from. His death is genuinely tragic. One of the Fallen Order's enemies, Tauron Malakos, is a fallen Jedi who lives on the planet Dathomir and uses the evil side of the Force to command the Night Brothers and Night Sisters. Malakos initially presents as an elderly wanderer. It is not until later that he is shown to be a villain. But after failing twice to convince Cal to join the Dark Side and being exposed as a Dark Side Force user who deceives and manipulates the populace of Dathomir, Cal and the player engage in one of the game's most difficult boss fights, where Merin eventually dispatches him. Given her past as a former Jedi who severed her ties to the Force and her complicated relationship with Trilla, Sarah Junda turns out to be one of Jedi Fallen Order's most intriguing characters. Fans learn more and more about Sarah as the game progresses. As a result, Sarah grows better and better. She is immensely likeable, imparts wise counsel to Cal, and when summoned, can be quite the badass. It will be amazing to witness her develop Cal into a Jedi in the future. 
Trilisaduri makes an excellent antagonist for Fallen Order as a second sister and unquestionably ranks among the game's best characters. But more we learn more about her past as Trilla, the better she gets. She was another ingeniously created component of the Inquisitoris and performs magnificently as well. Trilla, as a former Jedi trained by Sere, had many amazing interactions with the heroes throughout the game. Trilla was extremely clever and competent. It is unfortunate that she won't be present for upcoming games because of Vader's brutal and terrible killing of her and was heartbreaking. Cal Kestis received a lot of early criticism for being somewhat an interesting, one-dimensional Star Wars protagonist who did not give much character or depth. However, it became simpler to invest in Cal as the player progresses through the game. Of course, a lot of that is due to the support of other characters, such as Charo Topal in his flashbacks, Seri with her in-depth conversations, and Merin with her developing connection. Even while Cal has a lot to give on his own, it's more likely that when the sequels are launched, Cal will overtake all other Star Wars video game characters as the best. Merin, a Darth Amiran knight sister, was a victim of Malakos' manipulation and deceit, and she had a tragic past, which is why she was so well liked by game players. Merin's design is outstanding, as all Darth Amir and knight sisters related items, but she is much more than that. Every time she appears in the game, she is wonderful and adds a lot of emotional depth. The fact that the character's story and her voyage with Cal are still ongoing and that she joined the crew of the Mantis suggests that she will play a big role in upcoming Star Wars video games and is maybe the best feature. I'm looking forward to the upcoming sequel and seeing the progress and story of some of these great characters in action again. Like and subscribe. Until the next time on Star Wars Invader.